you what's up y'all so the black crane outfit is officially out in shinobi striker get your hands on this now i know you can't sub or use ninja tools but this outfit is actually extremely broken high risk high reward this outfit capitalizes a lot on one shot and high damage builds to excel now listen in today's video we're gonna do an overview on the new black crane outfit here's the thing if you actually don't like this new outfit, we all gotta admit, this is probably one of the best looking outfits that they have added in Shinobi Striker in a very long time. You may lose the ability to sub and use your ninja tools, which if you are a new player, this is probably game changing for you and you do not want to use this outfit. But you're, if you're an experienced player, you know how to work around that and survivability is good, you can actually make this outfit work because the damage output is pretty insane. And on top of that, you even do more damage with your secret technique alts as we know ninjutsu damage goes towards secret technique, so this could be very deadly. Damn. If you're not sure what to run, don't worry, I got you. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what builds we can run to increase our survivability and pretty much fold people with this outfit. First things first, any super armor type move like Demon Hunter or Horizon Strike is obviously going to be very well with the Black Crane outfit and you do a lot of damage when you catch someone in a combo. As a range, I was using Jutsus like Icicles and Majestic and Kamoi to increase my survivability and pretty much fold somebody a lot of times when they were dashing at me, I would just splash them in the face with Icicles and they would pretty much already be dead. So it didn't matter if I didn't have a sub or not because I was doing a crazy damage output to punish someone when they got up close. Now listen, when you have this outfit, people are generally gonna target you because it's natural knowledge that when you run this, you do not have a sub. So you're gonna have to play this very smart, a little bit sneaky and just wait for the right time to kill someone. A lot of times in survival, that's pretty much what I was doing. What I love about this outfit is I do so much damage. The people that just like to spam Demon Hunter, or Horizon Striker, Ubo get punished if they try to target me as long as my timing is right. And as a healer, I felt like an attacker. So the juices I was running for my healer would be Shadow Stitch or Crimson Drizzle to lock their sub and then put them in a combo that's actually devastating up close. As a healer, you're doing pretty much attacker or tank damage just from your combos. So you're pretty much practically one shot on somebody if you can seal their sub. Now remember, because you're doing more damage, you're actually gonna get your ultimates a lot faster than normal. And your ultimates will do probably 30% more damage than they normally do. So most of the alts in Shinobi Shocker are practically gonna one shot with this new outfit. And that's why I love it so much. I'm really hoping for the future of Naruto and Shinobi Striker. They give us more outfits that have special stats like this. Even if we have a huge drawback, the damage output is honestly worth it. I had a lot of fun running with this outfit. In the comments below, let me know how you guys felt about it. Important thing though, I'm really curious about what the community thinks about this outfit. So in the comments below, if you are watching this video and you made it this far, give me your honest opinion about this outfit. And what do you want more for the future of Shinobi Striker? But guys, like always, I love you. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Bruto will probably come out next week, so stay tuned. We've got a lot, to, lot of content coming this weekend. I'll see you guys later. Peace.